right. <laughs> um, okay, so um, sophomores and juniors, I'm gonna show you guys how to throw a plate. Um, we have an extra week um, at the end of the school year and I wanna invite you to try to do plates also. Um, so first of all, set up. You wanna throw your plate on a bat. So make sure you have a bat, it's nice and clean. Um, you wanna wedge up clay. I'm doing about three pounds of clay for this size of a uh, plate. Now mind you, this is gonna shrink quite a bit. So it looks a little bit big now, but it's, it's gonna be about 10% smaller once it's all done. So always go bigger than what you need. Make sure that when you wet your clay up, that this part is round that you're gonna plop onto the wheel, okay? So don't set it down on the table, or if you do, then you have to round that bottom out again. Uh, I'm gonna plop that down. Now plates seem to be pretty easy to throw. Um, they're harder to trim and to dry um, without getting S cracks. They also have a tendency of um, warping in the kiln. Um, so the throwing part isn't that hard. It's everything that follows it. So I'm just gonna wedge this piece of clay up. I'm sorry, center this piece of clay. Once my clay is centered, we have to start flattening it out. So you wanna make sure that your hands stay wet and your clay stays wet so it doesn't stick and get off center. I'm just kind of flattening this out. I'm supporting it here with the left hand. <laughs> You thought you were going to stay clean today, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, again, flattening that out. So my hand's getting dry as I'm doing that, and if it does, then it sticks and it gets me off center. So if you feel your hand's getting dry, um, just lightly let loose and get some water on there. Your goal is to do this and keep it on center. So I'm applying pressure on the inside and bringing it out. When you do a plate, you want it to, to be concave um, so that, I don't know, food and stuff goes towards the middle, which is a little bit difficult to do. I'm gonna show you some tricks of how to do that. So that's about as far as I can go there. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my fist and get that clay to come out even more. I'm trying to make sure that this point is the small or the lowest point. And that it slightly angles up. Um, I also measured the previous plate with a caliber. Um, so I know how big I want them to be. So that's about good there. Now, here's a super important part to help prevent S cracks. <coughs> um, this is a super nice um, rib that somebody got for the studio. Um, it's awesome for plates. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm not just scraping off the slip, I'm actually applying forceful pressure down trying to get all those clay platelets to line up like so. And that just gives us a really nice shape. So now I've got all that done. You can see I haven't thrown anything yet. So now I'm gonna throw the lip. So I just apply a little bit of pressure down underneath here. Um, in my opinion, I think plates should be a little bit thicker I'm just pulling this a little bit. Um, plates should be a little bit thicker because hopefully you're gonna use them and you need to be durable enough to be tossed around in the kitchen. So I'm being very careful not to get this rim too thin. Okay, so then there's what it looks like. I'm gonna measure it, see how it's 
measuring up to the last one. I guess it'll be a little bit wider. Following that curve up to there. Now I'm going to go back in with this wooden rib. When I'm doing this, I don't want to apply pressure here without supporting it on the opposite side. And for my design, I'm trying to get a nice seamless look here. And again, making sure that the center point is the lowest point. And then just finishing touch. I'm going to take a chamois, go around that edge, <coughs> excuse me, and that's it. You're then going to let it, um, oh, sorry, that's not it. You're not going to take it off the bat yet, but you do need to do the wire tool. So you're going to take the wire tool, hold it really tight. If you don't hold it really tight, it's going to um, get caught in your clay and go through the bottom. So I'm going to hold it really tight. I'm going to bring it through. Like so. Let this get leather hard. Once it's leather hard, um, we'll flip it over and then I'll do a video on trimming the bottom. There you go. Good luck.